Hey guys, Gamer24 Hours here with a new video. I've got a Vita now. Um, I've played around with it for a bit. This is just my first impressions. It's a lot better than the PSP, that's for sure. Uh, it's got two analog sticks rather than just the little nub that um, the PSP and the PSP Go had and the 3DS now has its cir circle pad. I don't care. It's crap. This is good. This is very good. Let's show you there. Um, cameras aren't that great. I, I don't care. The cameras don't really matter. I mean, they do, but if you're adding cameras, then... It, it, you don't need them to be good for a game system, so they did a good job with that. I think um, they managed to keep the the price at two fifty. I think that was a. I think it's good they didn't drop the price before the launch. Oh, all of a sudden, that would have been really dumb if they do, uh, and I really don't think they're going to drop the price anytime soon. Uh, the touchpad, I used it. It's kind of weird, um, but I have a feeling. It, I mean. I used it for Uncharted, so you could just turn objects and stuff and all that. That worked okay. I used I played a little Deviant's demo. I didn't really like it. Uh, so I mean, I bought Uncharted: Golden Abyss and Lawn Nation Racers Road Trip. So um, Uncharted doesn't have any multiplayer, which I wasn't really, I don't really care. But Lawn Nation doesn't have multiplayer, which is ridiculous. But they were already talking about a patch before they even released the game because people are like, oh, what the heck? Why aren't you doing this? Uh, and it's because they didn't do that well with, uh, or people didn't really play multiplayer on the PSP version. But it's the PSP version. The graphics on this are crazy. They are amazing. I was just blown away. They're, they seem identical like to the PS3 version. Like, they're that good. Um, I'm satisfied with the buttons. You can, and I like how it's, it's a lot like iOS. Um, yeah, but the buttons, they're really responsive. I like the uh, D-pad. It's, it's good. Uh, I mean, I know the buttons are small, but I don't really care. Uh, this is good. The power button, the uh, up and down volume. And there's the game slot. Which I don't have any games because I mean I don't have any um card games because I don't need it. I got the 32 gig. Um, then there's this accessory port on top. They haven't announced anything for it or talked about it whatsoever. I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna be for. I don't really care. I mean maybe plug it into a TV or something be cool the uh, there's the part you plug into the USB and all that stuff uh, yeah the navigating system it's it's very fluent it's well the touchscreens they're very responsive I have to say that for sure they feel really feel really nice just I don't know why they feel like extra nice uh, the OLED the, yeah, is it OLED? Yeah, the OLED screens, they look fantastic. But yeah, I like navigating the menus. So, let's, if I, if I click on something here, it'll go into that. And then, I have Uncharted over here. So, press start to play. Then you press this, and it goes out of it. And if you want to get rid of it, Pretty simple, just slide it to the piece of paper. Uh, and the icons, they're a lot like apples. You just hold it down and it jiggles. Actually, it always jiggles, but. You know, oh, wait, no, it doesn't jiggle like that, but yeah. But you can actually place it wherever you want, which is good. You can have a background for every. Um, for everything, so. I got the IGN background for one of them, and the rest are just normal. Like the IGN's logo, it was pretty cool. Greg Miller, 
Greg Miller posted it on Twitter on his Game of Gregory. So I got it from that. Um, games look fantastic. They just look amazing. Uncharted just it. It's like Uncharted One graphics. I mean, that's amazing for handhelds. Like that's what everyone says. It's Uncharted One kind of graphics, but it's just incredible. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I never even noticed that. Got this, and then you can scroll down to look at your activities that you've done. There's no thing for um, how far you've gone in the game, which would be nice to show how much gameplay that you've done for games, but yeah, they don't have that yet. Oh yeah, and for you trophy lovers, there's trophies. It's pretty awesome. Um, the it's very fast, I have to say. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of the browser. It didn't look great. I don't know. Trophies. I've only actually gotten like one. Or two. I don't know. <sighs> yeah. But the graphics are amazing. If, if you have $250 to shell out, and then an extra 20 or plus... Because there's a 4 gig, there's an 8 gig, 16, 32. 4 gigs mainly for the people who aren't going to be buying their games digitally, which I'm doing. Because I can get them right away. Uh, the download rate wasn't that great. I mean, I, I plugged it in my PS3, I uploaded it, it was like, uh, it took a bit long. I had like 10 minutes, I guess, for two games, but I don't know, that's okay. I didn't mind. But it is, this is fantastic. I'll be doing some more videos soon on the Vita, like, well, gameplay. So, but my first impressions are, if you have the money, 250 plus memory card. Mine was 100 bucks, 32 gigs. They dropped the price before they even came out. Like, in this, it was like 40 for the 4 gig, but then they dropped it down to like 20. And it's like, yeah, well, you should have done that in the first place, you idiots. So, I always look over there, because I look at myself. What do you like better? I don't know. I'll try to look there. But then there's always this music going on in the background. You can turn it down, I mean. Now you can't hear it anymore. Now you can hear it again. Uh, when I went to get the system uh, at GameStop, well, I'm saying GameStop because... You guys probably noticed that I know it as EB Games because I'm in Canada. Uh, they, oh, they're not that bright. They are not that bright. I was like, so where's the, like, can I have my pre-order package too? And they're like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Mm, yes. Uh, so they went to check for it. The guy spent like five minutes looking for it. And he couldn't even find it. Uh, it's just a pair of earphones, but still, if I'm gonna pre-order it, might as well give me what I got uh, so I didn't actually get the they said they'll be there a week later I think that they gave it away with the first edition PS Vita's which they were not supposed to they're very stupid uh, it's just I don't know they're not that reliable but um, with when it comes to pre-ordering stuff and I didn't bother buying a warranty because I just ugh, we're gonna shell out an extra 50 bucks no thank you or well, it was 45, but all this tax, and yeah, I don't want to pay for that. But this is just fantastic. I've gotten good battery life on it. I played for half an hour, and it hasn't even budged the green bar up there. It just hasn't moved. I mean, half an hour is not much, but just saying later it'll be. There's, you can get up to like five hours of battery life, apparently, which is good. Um. Notifications bubble up here. Press it. And it shows all my notifications. But yeah. Uh, incredible. Buy one. And if you want to play any games with me, or just add my account so you can say. Not say, oh, but um. To say go into party group messaging whatever um the account isn't gamer 24 hours for my vita because a bunch of reasons i'm not going to bother going into um the account is 
Brady the Gamer, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Brady the Gamer, or, yeah, yeah, it is. So, add me at Brady the Gamer if you want to play any games, or something soon. Uh, I will be, first multiplayer game I'll probably end up getting will be Call of Duty, which is apparently coming out in November, which I have to do a video on. So, or autumn, I don't know, sometime there. But that shall be amazing with these analog sticks. They don't stick out that far. Doesn't make a difference for me. I don't care. They feel well on my thumbs. They good size. I don't have that big hands. But uh yeah, this is a beautiful screen, huge screen. Just sorry this has been a long I don't usually do vlogs this long, but I'm just so happy. I'm just I don't seem happy. I'm like, yeah. I love this thing. It's like a portable PS3. Don't tell anyone else. Shh. <laughs> but yeah, um, I love this thing. It's awesome. I already know it's going to be. I hope it sells well. So good job to Sony for marketing it. Like they're starting now, but it'll be it'll do well. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be, I think it's more of a successful system than 3DS, which I have. Um, 3DS is good. I mean, it's not for the hardcore gamer, those. It's for the kid game, the people who lived in the past, I guess. They like their games, um, like remade and stuff, like Zelda, I don't know. So this was my first impressions. Get the system if you can get it. It's fantastic. Bunch of developers are getting their games out. Um, Sony has like everyone doing a game. Naughty Dog is doing a game. Uncharted wasn't made by Naughty Dog on the Vita. Just to let you know, it's made by Ben's Studios, which they did a great job. So good job, guys. Uh, and San Diego Studios for Mod Nation. Uh, he could add multiplayer. You were like, oh, we don't need it. We're going to try doing this whole new twist thing. Uh, no, that didn't work. People are upset. People want multiplayer. They don't want the social integration of all this crap just thrown into the game. Uh, no, that's not what we want. So, eh, but the gameplay is great. I haven't tried creating anything yet, and I will, but... So, I know I seem like I'm going to end the video over and over. Sorry about that. But this was Gamer24 Hours. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, subscribe, comment down below. Add my account, Gamer24 Hours. Or if you want to contact me on the Vita at all, Brady the Gamer. So, thanks for watching. Peace.